Henley, where for more than a hundred years a royal regatta has taken place in a truly royal setting. And if times have changed, some of the fashions haven't. Something new this year were oarsmen from Soviet Russia. The crowds who came either to see, or as in some cases to be seen, numbered about 50,000 when a Russian eight met Leander, nearest the camera, for the Grand Challenge Cup. A stiff breeze and rough water made conditions poor, but the Russians had the best of it on the sheltered side. With a rather awkward looking style, the Russians soon took the lead. It was the first time since the war that they brought a team to Henley, and they certainly made the most of it. In they came to beat Leander by two and a half lengths. Here's the start of the Stewards' Challenge Cup, another Henley classic, with the Russians, again on the far side, rowing against a quartet from the Royal Air Force. Two and a half lengths ahead of the RAF team, the Russians came in for an easy win. To complete the hat-trick, they also took the silver goblets away with them behind the Iron Curtain. The final of the Diamond Challenge skulls matched Vlastik, a Yugoslav, on the far side, against the Swiss Kolom. The Yugoslav kept ahead all the way, but Kolom made an all-out effort as they neared the finish and steadily began to draw closer, but it was all in vain. By six feet, Vlastik won the Diamonds. It was one of the closest finals for years. It was a case of export only for all the big prizes this year. Poor old Britain took a bad hiding, but no one can say we didn't try.